Hiya. Well, welcome back. Uh, sorry about the wind noise, but I'm, I'm in a wide open area and it's getting a bit windy. Um, we don't have long before it's due to rain, apparently. And it's clouding over now, so what I'm going to do is... This has been... I'm back on Skipton, by the way. This has been dug to death. There's brand new walls everywhere. But there's one hole that I started um, weeks and weeks and weeks ago. It's not been touched. And it were only a little tiny test hole, so... It's already open. I'm going to go back in there, see what comes out. Saves me, saves me about 20 minutes, half an hour, trying to get one already open and uh, messing around doing that, so yeah, let's crack on and I'll see you on the first bottle. Someone's just rolled out the side, uh, looks like a child's cup, so I'll just sit you there and I'll uh, fish it out. Oh, it's broke, bugger, it went that way up, it's not right good there is it, there we go, yeah it we're it were that way up. I've just turned it round, it's in that. What a shame. It's like a little fluted glass as well. Can you see that? Is it focusing? Come on. There we go. Oh well, let's crack on. Getting down to the bottles now anyway, so I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so, 45 minutes in. And we found nothing. I found a little one-inch bobby, an ink, a sauce, a pickle jar, some sort of olive oil, olive oil, oil bottle, and a jam jar. So uh, I'm going to cave this all in. And I'm going to move. And I'm going to have a look in that main seam over there. Um, yeah, it's just been dug out. Been quite dug out over here. And uh, I've got two foot down. And I've just hit bottom anyway, so I'm not really deep. So I doubt there's going to be much in this hole. Um, so just how it is on here, you've got to get, I need a probe rod really to get on the uh, deep areas, which I think of this, this little vein that runs through this side here. But there's one by the fence as well that's quite deep, but I might, have a, I might have a poke about it over there and see what happens. Right, I'll see you on the next one. Welcome back. So. Um, that were a bit of a wash out. I've wasted three hours on that tip today. Found nothing. I found, well, I've took a little cream jug that I can fix up. It's perfectly fine, it just needs an handle. But it's from the uh, Glasgow Pottery Company. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm going to fix it up. Um, I took it because I watched Dirty Secrets of Scotland and he, he digs in Scotland, so it's kind of does that kind of stuff so I'm gonna I've already done one at home actually I've got an handle I've sanded it down she needs painting so I'll do this one and then I stick them on my Instagram um, and I'll put the uh, I'll put the code for my Instagram here what my channel's called anyway what I'm gonna do now is I'm 20 minutes from the uh, railway tip and I've got about four hours left before I need to be home so I'm gonna head over there I'm gonna have a little two-hour dig and see what we can get out I don't just want to go home because it's going to be a waste of a day otherwise. Um, but yeah, skips and tip. Dug out, picked over. Um, Mudlarks have been back on this week. Um, I've seen a few channels posted on here. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing left unless you want like bug bottles and stuff like that, which are just lying on the surface. But I can't find any fresh. Um, I'm sure there is a bit. It's just that concrete cap and it's like so hard to dig through. Anyway. Let's start chatting, let's get on, let's get a bit of video filmed and uh, I'll see you on the next bottle. So we're on the railway tip, um, we're just a little picture, it's a little patch of fresh just down here and that's just come out. Are you going to focus? Or are you going to focus? What's up with you today? There we go. Little, uh, Cut crystal stopper. Right, let's crack on. But again, I'm dealing with this really soft, uh, really soft layer. So we'll just have to see how we get on. So there is bottles coming out. I'm only about a foot and a half down. 
I think it's going to be like my last dig, where it's going to be like a, a jumble. There's going to be a bit of modern stuff in there, it's mixed with some nice, interesting items. Um, we'll have to see, yeah. let's keep going and see what I get out. I'm just on the back end of that root system where that's where I was digging the other day. I'm going to chuck all them bottles back because I forgot to do it, I just walked off and left them. So, yeah, let's crack on, see what we get here. Really sorry about that wind noise. But I've just had this. Put it on front camera and gun. So, just had this. Gillette, known the world over, I think. It's either some kind of grooming product or it's a razor blade packet. But I can't get the. Uh, I can't get it open. No, it's rusted shut. Whatever's inside it. And we've just started raining. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Little little Gillette. Whatever it is. Is it Gillette? Yeah, trademark known the world over. Could be a small travel razor, I suppose, but it's more than likely going to be razor blades. Just can't get the packet off. No, we have to wait to that. See on the client, uh, see on the roundup, see what that is. Interesting though, nice little thing. Right, let's crack on. Just had that. That's a shame. Little, little frozen Charlotte. Made in Japan. What a shame that was. Could have had little arms in there. Missing its head though. So, unfortunately, I'm going to leave that. And I've just had one of them Liza bottles. Nice green colour, I'll take it for a clean up. Right, let's get back into this seam. Look at this. Now, I would have took that for a restoration project, but it's missing that corner. That's a shame, that's a lovely tile. Look at the colours. Ah oh well, let's crack on. So we're digging this bank, and uh, this just came out. A lovely little amber, not to be taken. That's my first one, hexagonal one of here. Well, It's an early one as well. Bit of an applied neck there. Two ounce. Lovely. In the bag. And uh, let's have a bit more of a muck around in here. Um, I've went back in my old hole, that one I was digging last week. I did cave it in, but some of the sides have become exposed so come back in and see if I can chip them back again and these will come out so this is where I got my last green poison um, yeah see what else comes out I'm gonna have a bite to eat and then uh, see how this weather holds up it started spitting as well so might get a bit of rain yet don't know yet let's crack on next find is that I think it's an African child on a toilet I uh, don't know what to do with that. There's enough there to take, but it's not really my thing. Uh, I'll leave it where I know I can get it. If you want it, let me know and I'll come back and grab it. Oh, and I've also had a, a cut glass, another cut glass decanter stopper, but it's uh, machine made and it's got a big chip on it somewhere there, big bruise on top, so 
that'll be staying here. And I forgot to take the dog's head last time I came. I left it. So I'll take that as well, clean it up. Right, let's crack on. Right, so I've just had this. And it's uh, Greenwoods and Company Limited Keithley. It's an early neck. He's still got his stoppers. So yeah, I'll take that. I've got a way of cleaning that, so I'm not too fussed about the dirt inside. And also, I've just had a piece of a doll's head from a Germany 390. 390 A6M. Marseille, does that say at the top? But the face is gone, unfortunately. Um, there was a lady who messaged me about, ooh, must be over a month ago now, saying that if I do find any German dolls, or bits of German dolls, um, send them off. Well, if you're watching, I've got quite, a, well, I've got a few bits of dolls at the minute. If you want them, um, message me on, uh, message me on Instagram, Lancashire, Lad, uh, Lancashire underscore lad underscore 1980 and uh, I'll post them out to you and you can have those alright let's crack on a bit more of that doll um, I found the back of her head I found the rest of the writing Marseille and uh, we found a face she's got little teeth I'm going to keep digging and see if any more comes out sorry my camera's Mucky again. Um, that's not even better, is it? Is that better? No. There we go. Um, yeah, rain's just come on. I'm going to give it another another ten minutes. See what else pops out. And I'm going to head home. I've not really got much. Enough for a roundup, but nothing major. And I'm going to try and reconstruct this doll. It's uh, it's a bit weird, isn't it? I've got a little bottom lip and back of her head so I don't know if there's enough to make her like structural structurally sound but there's enough to tell what it is I found a face and a fat back of her head so we'll keep having a look see if any more pops out if it does I'll take it I'll try and mend it if not I'm going to uh, nip on and I'll uh, do my little outro when I leave the wouldn't leave this hole. <laughs> I, I know you can't tell on camera, but it's really windy and it's really wet, so I'll get back to you later. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me get that. There we go. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it's absolutely belting it down again. I'm muddy, I'm wet. My shovel's muddy and wet, everything's muddy and wet. My phone's wet. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. I might not even release this video. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had a few finds. Nothing nothing massive. Not compared to the last dig we did. That were, were a bad dig. Um, yeah. I'm going to get myself back to the car and uh, eat my lunch, I think. Right, um, I'll see you on the clean up. Maybe. Yeah, well, welcome back to this week's clean up. So, this week we're in the house. And uh, the wife's out, so she won't know. Anyway, so that was the little cream pot I rescued. I'm going to restore. Uh, put a new hand on. A few little flaws in the paint. A little. Uh, Port Dudley's, uh, Port Dundas. There you go, Glasgow Pottery Company. A couple of little stoppers. The uh, not to be taken. Brown aqua, uh, brown amber poison. The Liza bottle. Sorry, that's not on camera, is it? A little green Liza bottle that'll go in the bolt bag. I'll put that on Etsy for a couple of quid, probably. We had the little cut glass stopper. And then we had this, the little Gillette. 
There you go. Little Gillette razor blade tin. Managed to get the top off and it was half a razor blade inside. Um, I could polish that up, I think. But it's only a little razor blade tin, so probably not. And then the doll face. We've got about 80% of it here. So... We've got the eyes. We've got mouth. Um, we've got left ear and cheek. We've got the back of her head. We've got the writing that finished off the back of her head. And we've got the top of her head there that goes on the back. So I, I took that to keep that where the lady that messaged me a few weeks back. And that was uh, part of the razor blade that was left in that. Too far gone to rescue, but you saw your, you know, just shows you what's inside. So yeah, that was it. This is the reason why I didn't want to put the video out. Um, <clears throat> for one thing or another, there's a certain person going around the going around the uh, websites, socials, calling out bottle diggers, putting out boring content and whatnot. Um, and it kind of got in my head a bit, but I'm going to put it out anyway. I won't share it about. It's on my site if you want to watch it. Um, but yeah, I'll put it out nonetheless. And uh, just one last thing to do. Oh, and that's the other one that I'm restoring at the minute. Just sanding the handles back. I just need a paint now. Yeah. Looks nice. Right. I'll see you on next week's. Cheers.